Hi Gemini, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm going to be doing your August 21st through the 27th love reading. This is intended to be a love reading. We will see what comes up. This is going to be a quickie, hopefully. That's what I'm shooting for. A couple of them didn't turn out to be so quick, but that's what my goal is. Thank you to all my subscribers, watchers, likes, and support. I wasn't going to do weekly readings, but because of all the requests, I will do them when I can, and I think I can fit them in. So this is for the 21st through the 27th Gemini love reading. Wow, looks like there's some love here, that's for sure. Looks like there's some love. Um, maybe there's a new love. Maybe there's a new love coming in for you. Could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You know, so you have, you have quite a few signs here. But I see that you have been crying about something. Perhaps you've been crying or moping or you know, over something from in the past, all right, so that's still there, um, but I see that you definitely, there's a new emotion here for somebody new, so that's, it could be, you know, we have Taurus now a couple of times, um, like I said, I want to try to make this a quickie, so I'm going to lay out the cards and then I'll see what I get. All right. <laughs> it looks like you've been working. You've been working on yourself. I see a lot of growth. I see a lot of accomplishment. <laughs> so, you know, that's evident. There's a lot of accomplishment here. You've accomplished a lot. I think there's something going on behind the scenes that, um, and it's regarding your love, okay? I think that there's new love on the horizon for you, Gemini. Um, could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We have that a couple times. Could be a Taurus. Could be a Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Could be, you know, Taurus, Capricorn. You have them twice. You have Gemini a couple times. Um, no. Uh, Pisces you have a couple times. Anyhow, it looks like, you know, you, you have a, you have a, a mixture of signs, so it really could be any sign. I wouldn't even go with any of that. But I think that Gemini is you in the middle, and that's the, the your power to manifest, okay? So I think that you have been manifesting change. I think you have been taking action towards change. I think you have been using your resources to change. And I think that you have accomplished something, all right? Um, I see that things are finally starting to come around for you. Perhaps after a blockage, you might have been blocked in some way, but I think that now things are starting to move forward. I think you've decided to put your passion on love, and I think, I mean, this is the 21st through the 27th, so perhaps you are deciding to concentrate more on love, or you want to offer love, or accept love from somebody, you know, and it, it starts a new life for you. I mean, it starts a new, new major long-term uh, commitment, all right? that would um, end, the, it would end the feeling that you've been feeling about being left out, okay? So if you've been feeling left out, I think that's about to go away because I think that there is some love on the horizon that is coming in your direction after a time, after you've been moping around, you know? I think that you have decided to um, be confident. I think that you have decided to be enthusiastic about your future instead of negative and your thoughts become things and I think you you know that perhaps somebody that you are very very attracted to is about to come into your life. Okay. Um There's definitely some hidden forces, okay? There's something here that's not that you don't know about. Okay, there's something going on behind the scenes um, that 
might affect your um, security. It is going to affect your security because it's somebody coming in, you know, and you're going to feel insecure about it because of past hurt. You're going to feel insecure about it, but I see that you're still, you're still going to accept it or you're still going to offer it, okay? Um, because things are starting to move forward, okay? Things are starting to finally happen for you in, in regards to love. I see that there's a, a, there's a mutual attraction between you and somebody else. You know, there's definitely, and you could have more than one choice, all right? I'm thinking you could have more than one choice. It might, this might not just be one person. Um, I see that you're starting to follow your own path more and more. You're starting to believe in yourself and your, your positive thinking is changing the shape of your life. Okay, the, your positive thinking is changing it, and you're about to reach this world card where you've you've you start a new phase. Okay, um, and it's a new phase that has love. Okay, it does. So um, let's get some of these. This is the after tarot. I think that you've been being really, really taking your time deciding about love. You've been just taking your time. You just didn't know what to do or who to choose. You might have a choice between two people and you don't know which one you want. And you're going to take the more practical approach. Okay. And I think you're finally going to make a decision. I see that it's time. It's just decision making time. And that um, a new phase of your life is about to happen in either way whichever way you decide to go there is going to be love all right and you are no longer going to feel left out in the cold and there is something going on behind the scenes that's helping you that you don't even know about okay and it's helping you because of all the hard work that you have done you have done a lot of inner work and the universe sees that and that's what the hidden force is you have done a lot of inner work okay um, so you get rewarded for that. This is my after tarot. I don't read from the book and I don't read from other readers. I do this with my intuition and, you know, I use the cards and do it my way and I'm, that's the way it is. Okay. <coughs> so we have this Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Mother twice. Okay. We do. So it, it appears to me that that would probably be one of your choices. This person could either be blocking you from another person, you know, or, you know, they are assisting you in some way, all right? So this person is definitely part of your journey during this week, and it doesn't have to be a water sign. It could be somebody with a lot of water in their chart, but it's somebody who is very caring, giving, nurturing, um, emotionally supportive, Okay. This one, you definitely have a choice between two people, okay? So here we have another one, another queen that, this is the fire sign, and she gets what she wants. She's enthusiastic. She's more adventurous, more adventurous than, than this one. This one's more dreamy, more, you know, euphoric, kind of like, you know, very dreamy. This one is more, go get it. I'm going to get what I want, you know what I mean? So they're, they're totally different women, but they're both right here. You know, you might even have a choice between three people because now I see this one twice, okay? So I definitely see that you have choices <laughs> during this week. And maybe maybe you're one of these people um, taking on one of these energies. I mean, this is taking a practical approach, earning trust, earning respect, okay? Working for what you want, Okay, and you have the magician twice, which is you, you twice. You have been doing a lot of inner work, and it's very attractive, obviously, because you have a couple of different choices, okay? Um, I see that maybe one of them is, is more secretive than the other, okay? Maybe one of them is more secretive. Maybe one of them is... Well, I'm sure that one of them is not the right one. That's what I was going to say. One of them, I think, is attached. 
Okay, one of them I think is already attached and you don't even know it. Um, that's what I think. But I think you might know it because I think your intuition is right on and I think you know there's a secret. And probably this one that's a fire sign has some kind of secret and you know it. You know it. So um, just pay attention to your thoughts because whatever you're thinking, it is true. I see that... Um, you, your power to manifest is very, very high. I see that you have you have been working on achieving something. You have been working on yourself. Um, perhaps you um, ha have some addictions that you've overcome. I see that you, I see that you have overcome adversity in some way. Okay, and so things are changing. Things are changing, and you have choices in love. That's for damn sure. Um, and I think you're going to be giving love. Whereas before, I think, like I said, you were taking your time. You didn't know what you wanted to do. You wanted to take the practical, sensible approach. But um, now I think it is definitely decision time. Which one do you want? You have the two of wands. Which one do you want? It's time to make a decision. Okay? And then you've... Once you make, because this is the after tarot, once you make a decision, you get love, and then you want to give more love, because this is giving. You give your time, you give your love, you give your abundance, you give your stability, you give your security. There's no more insecurity. Okay, you make a decision, and the insecurity goes away. You got to make a decision in love. Okay, and whatever it is, it's going to lead to a new home. Okay, it's going to lead to a new home. Um, whether you're in the same home and somebody, a new home environment. So somebody could move in with you. You could move to a new home. You could move in with somebody. But I see that there's a new, a new home, a new home environment. Where things were unstable and things become stable. All right. So that is out in the future. I mean, that could be out 10 months from now. This, that's the after tarot. All right? I see that this week that you need to, you need to make a choice, okay? Um, perhaps between two people. I'm not sure if this is going to resonate with everybody. Could be three. And maybe you don't even know who they are. And this doesn't have to be all lovers either. I mean, it could be family members. Who knows what it is? But it seems like there's definitely some kind of decision between that needs to be made, okay? And you're trying to take the practical, sens sensible approach. Um, this is the 21st through the 27th. I see that you are victorious. You are successful. You have achieved a lot. You have grown a lot. And you have built a lot, okay? So I feel like you, this is a very successful week for you. I do. I just feel that, you know, this is what it is. It's life. Talk to you soon.